Hey everyone, and welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon, and I'm a treasure hunter here from the great state of Alabama. And I search all over the southeast for relics of all kinds. I use my metal detector as well as my skill set of reading old maps to benefit me to help me find these really cool locations that I find awesome artifacts at. I'm actually going to use that same skill set in this new series that I'm starting today. The series title is going to be The Lost Legend Series. So, if you're not subscribed, be sure that you are. You don't want to miss the upcoming episodes. I've got a lot of awesome stuff planned. As for today, the legend that we're going to be chasing is actually the legend of Railroad Bill. Railroad Bill was famous for being a more modern Robin Hood. Sounds pretty crazy, I know. But what he would do is, he would actually rob trains. He would hold them hostage, take their goods, and then resell them to the poor at a much cheaper rate. So, he wasn't as noble as Robin Hood, he didn't give the goods to the poor, but he would sell them at that much cheaper rate as mentioned. Sadly, the law enforcement shot him in 1896, and they had a good reason. There were several gunfights that killed several people, and when he died, nobody knew where his stash was left. So what we're going to do is, we're going to actually go out, try to find his old camp spots, I think I've got them pinpointed down. I've looked at the old maps for quite a while, done a good bit of research, and I've come up with a really really good spot at least in my opinion he was known not to stray far from the railroad so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick really close to the railroad and take a look around and see what we can find let's go see what we can come up with all right guys I'm on site I've been hiking now for about 15 minutes or so uh, I think that right up here there should be a creek and that's where I think old Railroad Bill would have camped at. I honestly believe, at least in my mind's eye, that it makes sense to always put your campsite close to water. That way you have a good source to drink from. You can hear I'm not too far from the road and the railroad tracks, but I'm out of sight. And I think that's exactly how he would have wanted to be. He wanted to be able to jump on and off the railroad as he pleased. I'm seeing some modern trash from like the 60s right here, probably from an old house place close by. But you can see that kind of a hill right there. That's what's blocking us from the railroad. And it would have been nice for them to be able to have a small campfire and it not be visible. So I'm pretty hopeful. Today I've got the Garrett Apex with me. I packed in light because I didn't know how far of a hike it would actually be. Sometimes Google Maps can uh, mislead you a little bit on the actual distance to where you're going. <laughs> or it may be really thick terrain and the Apex is so light it just makes it really easy to pack in and out. So when we get done here and get the detector fired up, I'll get back with y'all. We're getting real close though. What do you guys think? This looks like as good a spot as any right here. Right on top of the hill, you have a good visual all the way around you to see if anybody's coming to get you, <laughs> like law enforcement. And you're out of sight of the railroad and the main road. So this is one of the areas I picked out. Now I do have two spots today that we're gonna check. So if this one doesn't pan out, we'll go to the next spot. Let's see what we can find. All right, here's the very first solid target that I'm getting. Between 75 and 77. Kind of pinpointing small. I have them kick their leaves back a little bit because sometimes they will actually cause you to uh, false out around here the pine straw seems to be kind of weird so that first signal is a piece of lead it kind of makes me wonder if it's like campfire lead in the 1890s they could have still been using leftover civil war guns you never know that's only 30 years after the civil war so i don't know if that has something to do with it or not there was a ton of gravel in there though and that could have been a rock ring for a fire pit. It's a bit of a stretch, who knows, but it rang up really nice. It rang up just like a penny. So let's keep going, see what else we can find. 
I just hiked from the top of that hill up there. You can see there's some rock ledges right there. And over here on this side, there was a nice stump with a bottle leaning in it. <laughs> it's nice and broken, but that's a Dr. Miles Medical Company. And uh, you can tell it's got moss and junk growing in it. Been there for a long time. I don't think that that's an 1890s bottle though. I think that's a 1920s bottle. Still shows that somebody was down here kicking around though. So we're gonna have to do a little bit more recon. I'm in a nice little flat spot right here though that is prime for a camp. So there was even a part to this legend that stated that he could have stashed his loot in a cave. And we're gonna metal detect all around this rock face right here just in case it collapsed at some point, just to see what may be around it. I don't know that there would have been a cave here, but it sure does look like a good spot for one the way that the rocks are stacked right next to the creek's edge too. I got my hopes up, we'll have to see. We go got another good signal it's a solid 80 81 pinpointing incredibly small if that's not a penny or a dime i don't know what is <laughs> i mean it's it's a dead ringer without a doubt gonna have to go deeper i called this one guys not a dime, but it looks like it's going to be penny sized. And tech gum it. <laughs> I'm out here looking for stuff from the 1890s, and I just popped a 1953 wheat penny out. Tag gum it. That's all right, though. We'll take it. We saved a coin out here. So there was somebody out here prowling around. 70 years ago may not have been railroad bill but somebody was here <laughs> let's keep looking got another good signal 75 76 pinpointing small again let's see what we got let's see if i can do this one without putting the camera down i seem to struggle with metal detecting it's harder to do it i guess i need a tripod to set up All right, that's what I was hitting right here. Some kind of cap, it looks like. Let's see. That could be, more than likely, a three Mary Widows tin, which would be a condom tin. It's about the same size as one. I have to try to clean it up and see if I can get something off of it. I have to keep telling myself that this is a legend that I'm chasing and I may not find anything, but when you do the amount of research that I've done, you would think that you would find something, but it is a large area. But the one thing that I'm appreciating about this hunt is the sheer beauty of this little area that I'm at. And it is amazingly beautiful. I've got another rock face right here behind me that could be home to a cave. And that's one of the reasons I actually picked this spot was because of the features of the land to possibly house some caves. Let's see if I can see anything from over here. It looks good. We're gonna go up and above and then look down and see if we see anything from the top. There again, I'm seeing activity from people in the, looks like it's the 20s through the 50s, but nothing any older than that. All right, here we are, we're at the top of that spot. Make sure I'm not gonna lean on a dead tree. There again, this looks like a very promising spot for caves. It also looks like a very promising spot to fall in the water. <laughs> I am solo today, so I have to be a little bit mindful of that. But it sure does look nice down there. This is not a place you wanna hunt during the summertime though. It would be loaded with snakes. Not sure if I mentioned this to y'all, but Railroad Bill was actually an African-American man, which makes him 
all that much more gutsy for the time period, especially in the South. He was holding up the trains that were filled with primarily prominent white people, and he was taking them for everything that they had, which is pretty fantastic in my opinion. I think it's hilarious. Uh, he, he was giving back to the, the, the poor folk. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not for robbery by any means or anything like that, but I guess I just like the old Robin Hood story and how it goes. Here we go. I found a motorcycle. That and the Indian Head Penny are the find of the day so far. Probably some kid out here maybe had a Ford at some point or something. I'm trying to look at the way the bike looks. Looks like an old Honda CB maybe. The way the tank is. Probably a 60s or 70s toy. Not sure. Pretty cool. We'll clean it up though. Keep it. Carry it out of here. Just pulled an old button out right here. Bring up a nice solid 55 on the Garrett Apex. You can see that it says Liberty on there pretty plain as day. Looks like it's an old one. I don't know how long Liberty's been around. Probably came off a set of overalls. So I don't know the age of that. I'll have to do a little bit of research. I might do that here in just a second. See if I can pull up how old it is because that could date where I'm at to pre-1920, which would be nice. Up the hill we go. Looks like an old roadbed right there, the way that the land lays. So if that is the case, I'm getting back to where he wouldn't want to camp. He wouldn't want to be in that particular spot. Now, I pulled the land records for this area, and this was all city-owned, and that's why I'm out here. This isn't private property. So I didn't feel bad about looking in this particular spot. But if I go very much further, I'm going to run out of room and be on private property. And I can't do that without permission. So it was a good run. <laughs> I am a bit disappointed. What is that? I do gotta go see what that is. Hang on a second. I think I see something. Lay the metal detector down. Is that a piece of bark in that tree? A piece of metal. Some modern trash. Yeah, I'm getting back close to that private property. Somebody put that there. It wasn't me. It makes me think this spot's kind of been hunted. Because I would not have done that. I would have took that out with me. And I guess I will for whoever did it. There's a dig hole right there. Yeah, and there's some old glass in it too. Well, shoot. I may be chasing my tail if I'm in a spot that's already been hunted. That hurts my feelings a little bit. <laughs> After finding that tin in the tree... That really has just burst my bubble thoroughly. <laughs> you know, it takes days worth of research and finding who owns the property and then two hours to drive here. But that's kind of how the treasure hunting world goes. You do a whole lot of work with a little reward sometimes. But still, maybe I got to tell y'all a bit of piece of history from here in Alabama that most of you had never heard of. I would bet none of you had ever heard of Railroad Bill. And maybe you'll remember him now. <laughs> Maybe you'll remember the story. So maybe this whole video wasn't in vain. I had a good time looking and spending some time in the woods though. And if y'all enjoyed this, let me know. Like I said, I wanna make a series where maybe every other week I chase a local legend. It won't always be the same one. So if it's Railroad Bill this week, who knows? Maybe in two weeks we'll do one about chasing some gold. Y'all let me know what you think about that in the comments. If you did enjoy, as mentioned, be sure that you are subscribed, like the video, and we will catch you guys in next week's video.